Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dan coming to you from the Balancing Center. And today we're going to give a little bit of thought and experience of the elections. Now, the elections, especially this one, have been increasingly polarizing. Now, if we just drop our shoulders and settle into the body, we're going to remember that this entire experience on the planet is about polarity, opposition, duality. So this is just a really high intense level and people lock in a response to that. It will trigger internal traumas, dramas, histories, and mysteries about other polarizing experiences. And once it locks and loads, it's not in its most efficient and effective way to respond to the environment. So once you get reactive in an argument, are you ever at your best? Or when you're there staying engaged and connected and maybe in your heart to make the best responses? So we've given you the movement practices of taking a step back and, oh, and oppositional strain and the walking poses and things to physically help get you grounded. Here at the Balancing Center, we make energetic and physical structural corrections. We make sure that your head is on straight so it's not pulling you unevenly, which automatically takes a lot of your resources to respond to. But we also do the bioenergetic synchronization technique, the neuroemotional technique, and we've combined that, I've combined that over the years, into a system where we can see, oh, here's a place that's locked and loaded causing the body to do this. When we exit out of that program, it helps the body function in a more whole, dynamic, present time, responsive way. Because we work on these energetic levels, that's why when we talk about distance work and when the pandemic was raging in the beginning, I did a lot of distance work on people. I have family, relatives, friends around the country, and they can, they can get a direct experience of like, wow, something changed. And their physiology was able to express itself because the body is just the scorecard of our unconscious drives, survival, expression, authenticity, which isn't about perfection. And then the mind makes choices, the emotions add energy, our creative visualization part kind of makes the picture, so we kind of make what we're going to be experiencing, and the body is the scorecard for all of that. So we make sure that your head's on straight, we make sure that your spine is moving and not stuck into an emergency response or, or affecting nerve flow around the body because that's the essence of chiropractic. Then we move into these more energetic levels where when the body's locked into a response, you know, my first um, analogy for that when people comes in, come in is have you ever seen an angry person walking down the street? So they're just running that emotion. So by balancing your emotions, by bringing them to resolution here in the office and making sure there's no physical reason for you to be holding on to it, it allows you to go back into the experience from a greater place of wholeness, resource, and engagement. Giving you leverage, connection, and resource to respond increasing your agency, your adaptability, and your engagement. So all of these things just keep coming up in your care. We just wanna keep you in the sweet spot. We're not trying to have you believe any specific thing. We're just trying to keep you engaged in your heart, positive expression of the energy through your body so that you can respond in the most efficient and effective and actually authentic way for you.